we cannot sleepwalk through life. We cannot be ignorant of history. We can't meet the world with a sense of entitlement. We can't walk by a homeless man without asking why a society as wealthy as ours allows that state of affairs to occur. We can't just lock up a low-level dealer without asking why this boy, barely out of childhood, felt he had no other options. We have cousins and uncles and brothers and sisters who we remember were just as smart and just as talented as we were, but somehow got ground down by structures that are unfair and unjust. And that means we have to not only question the world as it is and stand up for those African Americans who haven't been so lucky. Because yes, you've worked hard, but you've also been lucky. That's a pet peeve of mine, people who've been successful and don't realize they've been lucky. They, they, that God may have blessed them. It wasn't nothing you did. So, so don't have an attitude. But we must also expand our moral imaginations to understand and empathize with all people who are struggling. Not just black folks who are struggling. The refugee, the immigrant, the rural poor, the transgender person, and yes, the middle-aged white guy who may, you may think has all the advantages, but over the last several decades has seen his world upended by economic and cultural and technological change and feels powerless to stop it. You got to get in his head too.